Hey guys, Larry from the Oregon Coast, and it's October 12th, and it's time to harvest my uh, hydroponic pumpkin. Well, it's not the giant I was hoping for, but uh, hey, my first pumpkin, and uh, pretty happy with it. All the vegetation is starting to die off from it, as you can see, but the uh, plant ended up growing pretty big. That's the pumpkin that was growing in soil. We'll take a closer look at that one. There's a reservoir over there swinging around. This pumpkin actually took off and about it's only about a month old. It hasn't even started turning orange yet. Yeah, I don't know if you I don't know if you can see that, but the base is actually starting to tear away tear away from the pumpkin. But so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this and give it to the kids for Halloween. Well, my wife just yelled at me for uh, I tried to sneak the bathroom scale out here the way weigh this guy but if I had to guess probably right around 35 pounds so not bad so we're going ahead and uh, grab the one that I grew in soil now this is a pumpkin that I grew in soil I wasn't trying to do a comparison but I was uh, had the extra plant so I just went ahead and made a little little bed for it but I didn't see uh, much of an advantage with hydroponics here it seemed like the soil uh, outperformed uh, the hydro the hydroponic uh, pumpkin actually took off a lot faster than um, this one that was growing in soil, but this one uh, steadily caught up. And actually, with this pumpkin, actually passed the passed the hydroponic one. Well, the one on the left is the one that grew in the soil. Actually, it was just a uh, composted steer manure. But this this uh, boy is probably uh, 10 pounds heavier than the hydroponic one, and uh, the skin looks look nice and smooth. Looks like a uh, a pumpkin that you'd want to buy at a store. Hydro pumpkin one, pretty dry. Um, definitely not, uh, not as good looking as the, the one grown in uh, compost or soil, whatever you want to call it. Well, here's my uh, reservoir. And if you didn't see the first couple of videos, this is a 15 gallon reservoir. And, and towards the end, I was running the PPM level at right around 1800, 2000 PPMs. And this is called a deep water culture, or some people actually call it a bubble bucket. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and prune the stem, and we're gonna see what kind of mess these roots are. Pretty decent sized tap root there. Overall, pretty healthy plant. Yeah, ladybug out in this cold weather. All right, this is gonna be a surprise for me too. Uh, been pretty busy and I haven't changed the newts out in probably uh, three weeks so this could look bad it could be pretty uh, pretty nasty in here so all right let's, let's see how bad it was holy cow actually not horrible still pretty white the water level hasn't really dropped down a whole lot I wasn't sure if uh, there's actually any uh, any nutrients left in this thing all right I'm trying to hold this with one hand <laughs> And there's the roots. These roots, roots actually swallowed uh, the air stone in here. That's what I was having a hard time getting uh, good bubbles, but the roots completely grew onto it and smothered this uh, air stone. And look at that hole. I guess they really wanted the oxygen, huh? And that's what the reservoir looks like after about three weeks of not changing it. Brown and nasty. All right, well, I dumped some of this lava rock and uh, definitely uh, made it a little lighter. Really happy with the lava rock, but man, it sure adds a lot of weight to it. And look at some of these uh, strange looking roots, huh? It was actually a little slimy there, not looking so good. And uh, even got a, where you got there, little buddy? Earthworm crawling around there. All right, 10 inch net pot and uh, a little bit easier to hold. Those are the roots. Pretty cool checking this uh, the roots off hydroponics. Uh, that's kind of like the DWC be able to look at them. Here's the bed that I, that I grew the soil pumpkin in. It's actually probably just two and a half foot by two and a half foot. A uh, little raised bed I made out of a. Old cedar fence boards. 
and actually started this. You can see my check out my earlier video in hydroponics, and I just transplanted the net cup straight out of the hydroponics into the soil, and it did uh, did an awesome job. Really happy with it. Well, I'm going ahead and wrap this up. Uh, really happy. It was kind of a fun little project, but uh, to be honest with you, um, if you got the if you got the soil. Uh, Go ahead and grow pumpkins in the soil. I didn't see a big advantage to having in hydroponics. All right, so I hope everybody has a happy Halloween and uh, take care and have a good one.